in the motion, the attorney for Amari Pollard is blaming himself, saying he was, quote, ineffective in defending Pollard and that he made multiple critical mistakes. Now, you may recall at his trial in late March, Pollard abruptly pled guilty to shooting and killing Sean Jackson outside the Altria Theater moments after students had left the stage. In a filing yesterday, his attorney, Jason Anthony, said the judge displayed evidence, evidence of bias against Pollard and erred in ruling he could not claim self-defense. But Anthony also said he himself made multiple mistakes in representing Jackson. After Judge William Marchant ruled out self-defense, Anthony said he told Pollard his case was essentially over and that he had no options, which he now says was completely wrong. Our legal expert told me such a post-plea deal request in which an attorney cites both his own failure and accuses a judge of bias is unusual and something of a long shot. I mean, at a very minimum, this is an extremely uncomfortable position for the lawyer to be in, and it could open up other issues. It could open up a potential lawsuit or issues with the bar. But, you know, it's, it's also said always that a lawyer has to fall on the sword to save the client, and, um, and that's you know, arguably what he's doing here. So, uh, you know, he's, he, if he can protect the right to appeal and get this in court within the 21 days and then um, and get the final order stayed and make these arguments, then at least he's protected um, the error that he's saying he created. And in court today, prosecutors said the request amounted to sour grapes. Judge Marchant said a hearing in May will now decide whether Pollard can withdraw his guilty plea. He also issued a new gag order, so neither prosecutors nor defense attorneys can talk about the case publicly.